hi guys welcome back to my channel I feel like it has been forever since I last uploaded a video and in reality it has been a very long time well I did take on a DIY project I did think it was going to take me less time than it has taken me to finish so my husband and I decided to do a whole remodel on our kitchen so that is what we had been doing for the past like two weeks or so and I am still not done so that has been taking a lot of my time therefore I haven't really had the chance to record anything but today I was just like you know what I'm gonna take out my makeup and get pretty because I feel like I'm a man now I really was just craving to do my makeup and just feel pretty again because DIYing and just taking on that project to remodel our kitchen it was just a huge project but I am very pleased with how it's coming along and it was definitely due for an upgrade for a very long time now so I'm very happy that we were able to just accomplish that and just one thing off of our list we do want to do a lot of things to our home just an update overall and that was a very big project that we just took out it's still not done therefore I don't want to show you any pictures yet but I will definitely share with you the transformation once everything is done that's another aspect of my life that I might share with you guys soon. I love DIYing and just taking on home projects so I am hoping to share that part of my life as well with you guys. Today I'm very excited actually because I got an order for American Eagle jeans. It is pretty hefty. I do really love American Eagle jeans. They have been my favorite for the past 10 years I would say. I know they are a little bit on the price your side some of them can range anywhere from $25 or $30 all the way to like 60 bucks which for one pair of jeans I definitely understand that it can be a big price tag but I think that they are worth it I'll get into it right now as to how I purchased my American Eagle jeans let's get right into it if you do want to just skip to the try on I will leave above a timestamp so that you can can see and just jump into the try on if you don't want to hear everything I have to say about how I purchased them why I like them and just some tips and tricks that I think would be very helpful for you guys if you don't want to pay the full price for these jeans so yeah I will leave the timestamp so if you just want to skip over to that so I'm gonna go ahead and just share with you some tips that I have found very helpful for when I order my jeans with American Eagle. If you haven't done so already, I would definitely recommend for you to sign up for the app. At the beginning when I started wearing these jeans, I did like to go into the store just so that I can know how they fit and how they feel on me. Like I was saying, um, I definitely encourage for you to download the application if you don't already have it on your phone because that is where I feel like I have gotten the best discounts. I will also just leave here the uh, screenshot of the application so that you can familiarize yourself with it if you don't know how it looks pretty much you sign up for the app then you start receiving notifications and within these notifications you'll be notified of course of any special sales or discounts usually I will wait for the sales uh, to be honest, I don't recall ever buying a pair of these jeans at full price. They are definitely worth it, but if you can save a buck, why not? Enough rambling about that, just wanted to get it out of the way so that you guys know. But yeah, so I pretty much just go on to the application. This is how it looks when you first sign in. And then I have what is called on here AEO slash connected. That is the program that they have for just discounts and points. It has a point system, so you definitely accumulate points every time you purchase, which I think is pretty neat because I'll show you just how good these points can be so 
first of all, I do wait for the sales like I was saying. Usually they have one pretty good that I almost all the time take advantage of. If you buy $150 worth of merchandise, they give you a discount of $50 off the purchase. Plus on top of that, they also have where you buy one pair of jeans and you get the other one half off. So once you combine those two together, you definitely end up saving quite a few bucks on your purchase so that is usually what I like doing when I see that they have that sale I definitely take advantage of it now let's get into the a it's like a tongue twister to be honest AEO slash connected when you start off you start off having full access just by making one purchase for that whole year you start off right away receiving discounts and just accumulating points. These are the perks that you get by having full access. For every dollar that you spend at American Eagle, you get 10 points that start accumulating right away. Once you reach 2,500 points, then you get what's called a reward dollar. So for every 2,500 points, you get $10 off of your purchase. So another thing that they do have, which I love, 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 is for every five jeans that you purchase, you get one pair for free technically it's not free but you only pay one penny for that they also have another section of American Eagle which is called Erie that one is like underwear and just intimates and pajamas and just like really cozy clothing and with that one it also works the same so you can purchase either from American Eagle or Erie for them if you buy five bras then you get one for free I haven't actually used that or bought anything for from Erie, I think the only thing I have bought from them is like a biker shirt and I actually really like it but that's pretty much everything I've bought from them and also on top of that you do get a 50% off coupon for your birthday they send you a coupon that you can use and that 15% applies to any order that you make and of course you do get like member exclusive uh, notifications about sales or just offers that they may have going on that is the first tier that you jump into when you make your first purchase with American Eagle now the way to get onto the second tier which you do get a little bit more of perks is when you spend $350 for the year with this one it's pretty much the same as far as the points you do get 10 points for every dollar you spend but with the reward it actually does change once you accumulate 2500 points instead of getting ten dollars like you would at the full access tier you will get 15 bucks off of your purchase when you hit 2500 points the jeans also stay the same every five that you purchase you get one free as well as the bras and for the birthday coupon it does also change it bumps up to 20 percent off your total total purchase which I actually just used mine with this order that I placed with them that's also how I got a major major discount with this order so that is pretty much what I take advantage of to purchase the jeans I am going to talk a little bit about why I purchased American Eagle jeans so what I really love about these jeans is the durability the way they fit and just how flattering they are on me personally the durability is hands down the best of the jeans that I have tried. Aside from that, the only thing I guess that I wouldn't like about the um, American Eagle jeans is the belt loop. I feel like they could make it a little bit more durable because I do tend to pick up my jeans quite a lot from my belt loops because I just don't like how a saggy jean looks and I mean if you're sitting down standing up sitting down standing up it's just a matter of fact for them to start falling not because they don't fit you or the fitment is not right it's just gravity they just fall so yeah I do tend to always be picking them up from the belt loops and I feel like yeah I could be a little bit aggressive when doing that so I tend to rip them from that area it's only probably happened to two or three of my jeans not all of them definitely but that's pretty much the only bad thing that I could see with them and like I said it's not even all of them it's just a couple that that has happened to but yeah those are pretty much the points that I wanted to touch with you guys so that you can be aware that 
these sales are definitely worth it if you want to get your hands on a pair of these jeans. I know jeans can be very tricky on different body types and just how they fit. So yeah, if you are interested, definitely check it out and definitely download the application. I promise you that that is where you'll get the most discounts. But aside from that, I'm gonna go ahead and jump into the try on now so that I can just show you guys how these fit me I have not tried them on myself I did peek through some of them but not all of them so yeah I am gonna try them on for you here well before I actually do that I am gonna just show them to you out here so that you can see them before I put them on this one is the next level super soft high-rise jegging so I really like the high-rise because they just hide that tummy area that is not cool to look at. This one is in a very light wash as you can see here. The pockets look like this and it has like a rip here on this pocket. Oh and just to let you guys know, I weigh 160 and I'm a size 8 and it fits me really nicely. It doesn't fit me super like tight but it doesn't fit me either super loose. So I just feel very comfortable in a size 8. I could probably get like a size 6 or so but I just feel more comfortable in a size 8 and that's just my preference on the fitment. These are a little bit distressed as well right here on the knee area. Also uh, when I do purchase my jeans I like to get them on the long cut. I just really like how the long looks because if I feel to just cuff them up I really like how that looks so I'll just cuff them up and I'll give them a different look and if not then I'll just wear them like that and they kind of scrunch like this and I just really like how that looks on me personally this is the first one that I got this is the next one that I have here this one is the super high-rise jegging it's in a black color it also has distress here in the knee area and on this one as well I don't know if you can actually see it yeah you can right there in the knee area and it has the button detail so it doesn't actually have a zipper it has these buttons and on the back pocket it also has some distress so this one is a high-rise jegging as well and this one is more like of a medium wash it also has distressed areas in the knees and this one actually has like a patch on the back so your skin will not show but it's still distressed and it has it on both of the legs. The back pockets look like this and it also has a couple of distress areas here on the pockets. Now this one here is also a high-rise jeggy. Oh and these are the next level stretch. So these are super super stretchy. And that's why I was saying like I could probably go to a size 6 because they are super stretchy. But I mean I just like the size 8 on me. This one is not distressed. This one is just a regular jean. It doesn't have any cuttings or nothing. It is just a very dark wash jean. This is how the pocket looks on the back. And this one also has the details of that black one that I showed you. It has the buttons instead of the zipper. I have actually never Never owned a pair of jeans like this so these are my two that I have now with these buttons I don't know how hard it is going to be to get out of them we'll see we'll try it out and I really like the color on this one too it's just like super super dark now we have this one it's the super high-rise jegging also super stretch this one is also distressed how about that you can tell that I really like distressed jeans but um, this is how it looks it looks like it has a patch if you can see but it also has where you can show skin through so I don't know if that's what they were going for or if it's a mistake I don't know maybe oh no this one has it too so it's probably how it's supposed to look 
Hmm. I had never seen that, but it's not bad at all. This is how the back looks like. It also has some distress here and the front in the knee area. Oh, I was super excited for this one. I forgot I had ordered it. So I've always been wanting to get like a black jean, but that was not super black. That was more like a uh, ashy or just grayish tone. And I really love this style when I saw it online. I really wanted to get my hands on a color like this. I really like the wash. It doesn't have any distress on it. It's really nice and this is how the back looks like. So I was really, really happy about this one. And this one is supposed to be a crop, highest rise jegging crop. But since I did get it in a long style, it's probably not going to fit me as a crop. That's why the main reason that I get them long, because if I do want to wear a crop, I can just fold them on the bottom and make them crop. But if I don't, I could still wear them long. These are going to be my more on the light color wash. And this one is also distressed. This one is the next level stretch jegging. And this one is pretty destroyed all the way from the top to the knee area doesn't have any distress on the bottom though and this is how the back pockets look like so yeah this is going to be the lightest wash I think that I got on this haul then I have this other one here it is also on a light wash but not as light as this last one. This one is a next level stretch super high rise jegging. And this is how it looks like. I definitely got a lot of ripped jeans. Oh, this one's pretty neat. It has like some distress on the bottom of the jean. So that's pretty cool. This is the back and this is how it looks. And then in the front, it just looks like it's not torn. I really like this one. This is how the bag looks like. It also has some distress on them. And they are super soft. Even though some can be a little bit on the thick side, the feel on them is always just super soft. Oh, and that's another thing I forgot to mention. Um, some of these can be a little bit thick on the material, but it's still not uncomfortable. Most of the jeggings though are very soft and just comfortable. It looks like you're just wearing like spandex to be honest. I almost forgot I do have one that I'm actually wearing right now. So I just jumped in and tried on one of the ones that I got. I really like this one so I'll show it to you guys in the haul right now. But yeah, without further ado, let's go ahead and jump right into it. Okay, so I'm just going to start off with this first one. This is the one that I told you guys that I was wearing already. This is how it looks on me, the side of it. It also has distress on the knee area. It's not as bad as others. I could probably pick it up right there. They are super, super stretchy and super comfortable. This is just how the back looks like. Right here is where I was telling you these high rise do like a really good job with just flattening up this area right here. I just really feel comfortable because all that unwanted belly that none of us want to look at. This one also has distress on the bottom of the jean cup. So I thought that was pretty, pretty nice. But yeah, this is how this one looks. So this one is the next one that I got. This one has that distress that is actually covered with a patch on the back. So you can actually see like your skin, but it still looks distressed, which I think is pretty neat. I actually like how this looks. And again, it has that high rise feel, so it covers up this tummy area. The fitment is just like on point. Like, I really, really like this is how the back pockets look. This one doesn't have distress on the bottom part, but yeah, I really, really like how this fits as well. So here I have the next one. This is actually the one with the buttons going down. Um, To be honest, this one I do feel like a little bit pressed in. Um, I don't know if it's because of the buttons, but yeah, it definitely feels a little bit tight on this area. It is definitely still very flattering. It's a little bit uncomfortable because it is a little bit tight 
on this area right here but I have just never tried the ones with the buttons so I don't know if it's just how they're supposed to look but yeah this is that one the very dark washed one this is how it fits on the back so yeah, it's definitely super flattering, but it's just ugh, a little bit hard to just breathe in. Uh, maybe after a few uses, it'll get better. Right now, it feels a little bit tight. It's definitely the tightest from all the ones that I have tried on so far. Okay, so this one is the next one that I tried on. This one definitely feels more like a jean. Like the material is definitely thicker than the ones that I had previously been trying on. This one also has some distress on the knee area. And it also has that patchwork that the one that I just tried had on. So, or the one before that one. You know which one I was talking about. But it also has that patchwork and then it also has like the showing. So it has it on both knees. Doesn't have any distress on the bottom area. So if you like this style, which I will link all of them below, if this one's one of the ones that you like, this one definitely does feel more like a jean. This is how the back looks like. Even though it does feel more like a jean, I still really like how it fits and just how I feel in it. And this one right here is the one that I was just super excited about when I put it in my cart and for a good reason because it just feels super comfortable it is really flattering and this color like I had just been dying to have a jean this color so I'm super stoked that I got this one it's actually gonna be like one of my go-to from now on it is my top favorite from this haul so far I really really like this jean I just really like the wash everything I really like this one this is just how it feels how it looks this one doesn't have any distress either so it's just like a plain black washed off jean Okay, and here is this really light wash one that I got. This one is pretty much the lightest one that I got on this haul. It also fits really nice. This one actually feels a little bit more loose than all of the other ones that I have tried. This one by far is the one that feels the loosest. So yeah, this is how it's looking so far. The rips on the jean go from pretty high up here on the thigh to like the knee area. Really nice. The back though, well, it's not bad either. I don't know how I feel about the pockets like this because like I feel like if I just... I tend to put my phone on my back pocket a lot so I don't know how that is gonna work. Yeah, but overall, it's a really nice jean as well. It doesn't have any distress on the bottom. So this one right here is pretty much one of the ones that is most distressed but overall it is also very comfortable. It sits super high up on the waist so this one is definitely super high rise. This is how the back looks like. Oh this one does have that back ripped detailing. Okay, and this is the black one with also the button details going down the zipper area. It also has distressing on the knees and a little bit above the knee. This one actually feels a little bit more comfortable than the other one that I tried on with the same button details. So, I don't know, maybe it's just the material of the jean that makes a difference because the other one definitely felt a lot tighter than this one. But this one's actually super comfortable. The button details, this is how the back looks like. Just a plain black ripped jean. You can never have enough of these in your closet. I feel like the more you have, the better because a black jean is essential, especially when it's ripped. And this one is the last one that I got. This one also has some distress on the knee areas, but it also feels very comfortable. It is also super high rise. The material on this one is a little bit more like tough. Just like the other one that I mentioned, this one actually does feel more like a jean other than a jegging. But overall, I still really like this. This is how the back looks like. It has that detailing of the stress on that pocket. I really like this one as well. 
to finalize this video, I just wanted to share with you guys the purchase order that I placed so that you guys can really see the discount and just how much I really paid for the jeans. I'm just signing into my app right here so that I can also follow along. Pretty much, if you add up the total retail price of each of these jeans, you end up with a total of around $520. But that is if I would have purchased them on the retail price. So just to give you an idea, what I ended up paying was $215. That is definitely a major discount of about 300 bucks that you saved. I am pretty happy with that. And also to top it off, with this last purchase that I made, I got two free pairs of jeans because I already had some jeans that I had purchased before. So I was almost to the point of getting a pair of free jeans plus I added the other five which in this haul I bought nine pairs of jeans so it ended up giving me two free pairs of jeans that's another thing that I wanted to tell you you can get multiple free jeans depending on just how big your order is and let's say you don't place a big order you just place one or two jean order those jeans will stay there until you reach your five jeans and they won't go away so you won't have have to start all over again the only thing that does expire is once you do get that free jean you will need to use it before a period of time because if not it goes away so that's just an FYI so don't be skeptical if you think like oh I'm just gonna purchase maybe one or two then I'm gonna have to purchase the whole five no you don't have to do that you can purchase in several orders until you reach your five jeans so catch me on American Eagles website placing another order probably very soon I also got a $10 reward so yes I'm super stoked about that that's all I wanted to share with you guys today I hope you found this video helpful and informative and please let me know in the comment section if you enjoyed this video so that I can probably add more of these on my future videos I hope you are all staying safe and healthy I'm really happy to be back here and just spending some time with you guys please if you haven't done so already remember to subscribe to my channel before you go if you enjoy my content also share with your friends and family so they can be in the know also of my content if you think they would also enjoy it i really appreciate all of your support so far thank you so much from the bottom of my heart and yeah that's all that i have for you guys today i will see you very soon on my next video and stay scrumptious bye guys